Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Colin with Tier 1 Concealed and today we're going to be talking about carrying concealed with a tucked in shirt. The outfit I'm wearing is probably the most common reason you're going to tuck in your shirt, but it applies to all sorts of different outfits. Like these guys here. That's your guys' cue. Like these guys here. Dude, scoot over. Oh, okay. okay. Hey guys, what are you each wearing? So I'm carrying a Tier 1 Concealed Aegis Elite holster. This is made for a Glock 34 with an X300 weapon light. I chose this setup today just because it's one of our biggest uh, in the waistband holsters that we offer. Just wanted to prove that it is possible and fairly easily to carry concealed, especially with a tucked in shirt. One thing that is pretty universal across the board when tucking in a shirt with our holsters are the belt clips. No matter what belt clips you're using, you will always tuck your shirt in over the gun, but in between the actual belt clip and the holster itself. And then you will go over the concealment claw as well. You'll notice I'm also using the tier one concealed easy adjust belt clip and claw system. You can use any of the belt clips that we offer. The easy adjust belt clips will need an actual physical belt to hook onto or at least we highly recommend that. And that uh, affects the level of concealability a little bit. It won't make it as concealable as you'll obviously be seeing if you look closely, the belt clips sitting over your belt. But um, as you saw in my setup, it is still relatively low profile. Uh, in my particular setup, I was able to put one of the belt clips on either side of my belt buckle. And that way I was able to take the tail end of my belt and put it over one of the belt clips, which added to the concealment of that. Aegis Elite holster helps that because in this particular holster, the belt clips sit a little bit wider than the Axis Elite, for example. But if you're using something with only one clip, such as the T1M holster, you could just utilize that one clip and it would still be fairly concealable. But in my personal opinion, I don't think anybody's really going to be paying that much attention to your belt line especially if you're concealing it well. So I think no matter what belt clips you're using, they're mostly going to fly under the radar. But this was my setup. Let's check out the next guys. All right, so this has been my go-to setup for quite a while now, and I am not using the easy adjust clips. I'm using our co-branded discrete carry concept clips. And these are awesome because they're a little bit stronger, a little bit thinner. The cool thing about them is that they go on a belt just like the other clips, but they also have this kind of tooth on the, the claw here, so you can put them behind the belt so that they're grabbing onto the pants if you wanna be that much more concealed so people aren't looking at your belt and seeing two other loops or clips or whatever. They work very well, they tuck in the same way as the other clips, you go behind the clip in front of the holster. But yeah, I've been using this setup for probably almost six months now and it's been really good. All right, so I am wearing Ulti clips, and this is what I would say is probably the greatest potential for concealment because they clip onto the pants itself, not your belt. Uh, that does come with some pros and cons. Obviously the pro being you can put the clips behind the belt. Um, the cons being it's clipped onto your pants, so the weight is supported a little bit differently. Maybe not ideal for a gigantic heavy gun, and you also have to be conscious of your, your pants falling below your belt line because the weight's on the pants itself. So as you can see on mine, I'm gonna pull the belt down. I actually helped mitigate the pants sagging portion of this a little bit by putting one clip on the other side of this first belt loop. Uh, I think that helps a little bit with keeping the pants from sagging below the belt line. So I'm gonna pull this off real quick so you can see the clips themselves. You put your, your fabric in between this clip and clamp it down. You'll also notice this is an older holster. We do sell all these clips separately. So if you want to go upgrade your clips and claws, you can still do so on an older model holster. So I'm carrying an Axis Elite with the easy adjust clips, which you can obviously see a little bit over my belt, but my belt's black, so it covers it pretty well. But I'm carrying a uh, Glock 45, easy adjust in the Axis Elite. So same with Aaron, uh, tucking in any type of shirt. It's kind of a process, but one thing that I do that uh, is a little bit different than the other guys is when I get it all tucked in, I pull my shirt up out of where the claw meets the belt and just tuck it behind it essentially so that it doesn't snag on it because with a button up shirt, it can get hung up on it pretty easily. It might vary with the different type of shirts out there. Some uh, longer shirts, you might have to really focus on getting the, the excess shirt tucked behind your belt. 
but uh, maybe just test it out, see if your shirt slides past it easier or not. One more tip, I would recommend checking out our website, our EDC belt. It's a collab belt that we did with Core Essentials that's awesome for everyday carry. Very rigid, very sturdy, has quarter inch adjustments, so you can get that perfect fit like really well. But if you don't have one or if you are dressing up and need a, a nice, more fancy buckle, something like this can work fine as well. So let's go to the range. All right, we're at the range. We've got our target set up. We're gonna run through some drills, uh, just some easy ones, get some times for first round impacts from a draw, from our tucked in shirts, maybe a couple other little things. Uh, let's get at it. I did take Colin's tip and tuck more around the claw as instead of in between the claw and the inside of your pants because I could, I feel like that would be a, a pretty big snag. So I'm gonna try it with that. Stand by. 0 0.99 seconds. Damn, son, son of a sub second tucked in. <laughs> Go sit in the car. So, so to explain that, the, the way the concealment claw works on our holsters is it pushes against the inside of your pants and the belt. And that offers greater concealment by, in return, pushing the gun closer into your body, therefore concealing it. So if you have your shirt in between the claw and your pants, there's gonna be a lot of resistance there when you're trying to draw that shirt up and get it untucked. So that's something to think about. I will say my times are faster because I have the easiest setup to draw from. Everyone else has a little bit longer shirts or buttons, longer tails. So yeah, that's the only reason. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Stand by. 125. Ready? Ready. Stand by. One point three three. Nice. Are you ready? Ready. It's not. <laughs> Stand by. That was a one point three zero. So we're gonna do a modified El Prez, just one shot, just to mix it up a little bit, throw in some movement. Stand by. One twenty four. Ready? Stand by. A 198. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. One three six. Nice. One quick boy. Stand by. One four six. Nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna try a retreating build drill. Shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. This is a 231. First shot was in a 130. So that's six rounds, retreating. Fairly applicable drill to be running, I guess, considering concealed carry and civilians. Ready? Yep. Stand by. Two forty-three. All right, seven shots, right? <laughs> Bill drill. Seven shots. Colin drill. Stand by. <laughs> three oh three. That was seven shots. Did okay. I do a seventh? First. <laughs> he was going for six impacts. It ended up being seven total. Yeah. Oh, hey, very, very well done. Thanks. All right. Stand by. Jason. Two nine five. Okay, so now we will do a one R one drill. That's one reload one. Not the greatest drill out there, but we're just doing it because it's very low round count, and we want to show a reload from this setup. So here we go. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Three, two, three. Ready? Yep. Stand by. That was a 255. Colin, are you ready? <clears throat> I'm ready. Stand by. Two 
to uh, Ford 21. Miles, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Very good. 368. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning, tuning in today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section what you thought. As we learned today, tucking in your shirt and concealing still isn't very difficult. And we learned at the range that you're not all that, you know, much slower, even um, pulling your shirt out and, and firing from concealed, tucked in. Keep in mind, it is kind of tricky to get your shirt tucked in. And, and, and this is something that can be uh, improved upon uh, with dry fire. So you don't even have to uh, do this at the range. You can start at home with dry fire and also keep in mind that you can tuck in your shirt and still conceal with all of our inside the waistband holsters. So check out our website uh, to see all of our holster options and you can tuck your shirt in with all of those. We have three different belt clip options. Our easy adjust belt clips that come standard on all our holsters or our upgraded DCC uh, clips and our ulti clips. Those work as well and you can tuck in with those ones. So thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, um, comment below, and share this video with your friends. And we'll catch you next time. We're probably gonna have to cut that up a bunch.